Are you a musician trying to figure out what the ISRC code is and where you can get it? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Now, what is the ISRC code? The ISRC stands for International Standard Recording Code. It is basically a unique identifier, a unique ID that is given to a song. So think of any song. If you want to know who the song belongs to, you find the ISRC code and you can find the owner. That is the concept behind the ISRC code. The ISRC code is usually given to sound recordings, so songs that have been finally recorded and put onto CDs and other MP3s, for example. Now, how to get it? The first way, if you use a digital distributor such as DistroKid, for example, which is what I use, highly recommend DistroKid, then you get assigned an ISRC code by DistroKid. The issue with this kind of ISRC code is that it belongs to DistroKid and you cannot find the exact owner easily of the said ISRC code. Now there's another way where you go to whoever gives your ISRC code in your country and they give you a way of making your own ISRC code. So I'm going to head over to my PC and show you step by step where to find your relevant ISRC code administrator in your country and hopefully you can find that company and get your ISRC code for you. The first thing you want to do is go to IFPI Dot org that's ifpi.org and they are kind of the overseeing body that links all the different countries for the isrc code on top of the toolbar there's something that says isrc let me just zoom in a little bit that says isrc so you click on isrc and then it sends you to this page now this is basically the nuts and bolts, everything that you want to know, need to know, should know, and how to use the ISRC code. Why to use it? Using the ISRC code and assigning it, and then the standard. If you really want to go into deep knowledge on the ISRC code, then check out the handbook. But let's go to get the ISRC. So you go to where it says apply now, and then as you scroll down, you can read all this. There's a line where it says, see all national agencies. Now, this is where you get the contact details of your relevant um, agency, ISRC agency. And they split it up into more or less continents. So depending on where you're from. So let's go to where it says North America. So Canada has one from there then the United States and everything around it. Now, unfortunately, nothing in Mexico, but um, you go to where the web, where it says website, you click on there and then you should be sent to the website of the ISRC code and then you get information, apply for code. Now that's obviously if you're not in the United States, then don't get it there. So in terms of Africa, North Africa is covered by London. South Africa is covered by RISA. Now, I've done detailed tutorials on how to get your ISRC code with RISA. So you don't have to contact these people to get it. You just follow through the tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description to get this. Um, but for all intents and purposes, that's more or less how you go about getting your... Now, it's different for each... It's different for each country. Some countries you have to pay, some countries you don't have to pay, but you have to follow more or less the guidelines on each one and go down the rabbit hole to know how to get the ISRC code. But if you don't wanna go through this labor intensive process, um, then you can just use the one distro kit gives you or your other distributor. But that's basically it. If you want to know more about the ISRC code, go over to skillmusicsa.com forward slash blog and you can get more details and I give more description on what the ISRC code is.